They list them. Those doing the killing in the zoo, they are all sooner Wahhabi fundamentalists. <laughs> it's okay. Give them more land. Hey, why don't you dialogue with them? But once it's Shia, oh, once it's IPOB, oh, why didn't you go and kill them? After all, the American ambassador will say it's nothing. And that's what they do. Do you know before they came to invade my house that the British government was informed? And they came to go ahead to come and kill me? Are you aware of that? So I'm telling you, I'm telling you live on air. Are you aware that the British government, the British High Commission in Nigeria, sanctioned my assassination? Are you aware of that? Uh, in time, all will be revealed. Our natural disposition towards evil and wickedness is why a Sudanese can do whatever he likes. Jubilee Sudan. Everybody knows he's from Sudan. Look at him and look at the Buhari, and you will know. But your stupidity and your natural cowardice, you're a black person, you cannot reason. This is your G, black and useless. Black and useless. We are black and we are useless to the core. If you support evil, anything I say about you, you should accept it with good grace. I'm telling you. How did it all begin? Some of you may ask this evening. How did all, how did we come to this um, stage of um, ask, uh, rejecting one judgment but accepting another from the same court? Depending on the judge who is ruling in your favor. Seven out of eight children of Zagzagi has been murdered by a Nigerian state. And you're telling me he, had, he doesn't have the right to be angry. But you won't see anything wrong with it because you're black. Anytime you go on social media, you see somebody not making any sense, that person is probably a black person. According to my dear friend and brother, <clears throat> I'm bringing what he wrote. Because he's correct. Fanny Kayode. I'm borrowing what he wrote. <clears throat> you shot his wife in the stomach. The wife was shot four times. And has been in detention till now. Not just like Even the wife is also in detention. This man was shot and blinded in one eye. Oh, zag -zag. It doesn't touch you because you're black. You know, as a black person, your heart is cold. Cold and blind to light. Because you're black from Africa. You are evil. You don't empathize. There is no empathy. You don't see. All you care about is, oh, who is winning? Let me, so since the Fulanis are now killing everybody and they're they, they on top, let, let me support Fulani. You have no soul and you have no conscience. That is why God placed you. I'm asking God, but what did I do? Why take me to Africa? I'm, I'm still thinking and asking God, what did I do? Because I, I am better off as maybe as, a, as something that could be useful to humanity. We blacks, we are not useful to mankind. We are a waste of space. We are clogging up space for mankind. I'm telling you the truth. We are useless. You did all this to uh, uh, this man and you think you will succeed. What is the crime of Sheikh El Zagzagi? You bring out uh, he had the same thing you did when I found BSS. You say, oh, can you see them? Can you see them? But you cannot see funny headsmen. You can see them. They're the ones killing you and raping you every day. But you never learn. Because you're black and you're timid. I, I'm so upset tonight. I, I don't think, I don't, I, I wouldn't normally do a program like this. But I am enraged. Enraged. Africa is a disgrace. Trump was thinking about, said he was going to, what is he said, he's going to deport people from America. He should start very, very quickly. And he also banned some people from traveling for election rigging. And they, they, they said their politicians know. Every vice chancellor in the zoo and their families should be barred from traveling to the USA. And their children, excuse me, should be deported from America, all of them. They all should be deported back to come and face the consequences of the destruction their parents have wrought on ordinary people. Who 
you are the one that really is not, it's not the vice chancellor with PhD, emeritus professor, rubbish. But they were there rigging election for thugs and illiterates. Trump should hurry and deport everybody. In fact, every nation should, myself included, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't exclude myself. We don't deserve anything good. We Africans are a disgrace to humanity. Big disgrace. We must remember that uh, there was a time when Goodlord Jonathan was stoned when he went to campaign in the north. The Jonathan, Jonathan opened fire on the people. Did Jonathan ask anybody to open fire on the protesters? They burnt his posters, his billboards in the north. Did you open fire? If you're in the south, they will open fire and kill people. And you have one idiot who probably doesn't know his father. Somewhere either in Lagos or in Abuja, right? Oh, but, but they shouldn't have stopped, uh, stopped him. Do you know what is a protest? It is a right you have in the constitution. And they tell you, oh, where one person's right stops, another one begins. That's trying to talk about law and morality. Where one person's uh, 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 right ends, another one starts from rubbish like that. So you won't allow Nigeria to fight for itself based on its laws. You are in your office somewhere in Abuja saying, what I'm doing here, by breaking the law, which is what detaining El Zagzagi means, you are, by breaking the law, somehow you're keeping Nigeria one. And I remind my Yoruba brothers, have you seen what you have done? Because you, you have condoned and served the Fulanese for so long, you have strengthened them. Now, they personify impunity. And that impunity will consume you. What and see what will happen in Yoruba race? Your journalists are evil. Yoruba, I've been screaming and shouting, Yoruba journalists are evil. Until they repent and change, everybody will go down with them. Jonathan, on the 21st of January 2015, went to the north. Nothing happened to those that stoned him and burned his effigy and his billboards. Jonathan did not retaliate. I was in detention in Kuche. Not in Kuche, sorry. At um, the DSS dungeon in Abuja. December 2015, when I received the message that they have massacred people in the north. I asked them why were they massacred. They said because Buratai was attending, one wanted to go and see the emir of Zaria, if I recall very, very well. And his motorcade was blocked. He's an ordinary army, army chap, but he has a motorcade up to 50 vehicles on. That's Africa for you. <laughs> Primitive idiots everywhere. His motorcade was blocked, and because of that, thousands were mowed down. Some of you saw only two days ago the motorcade of Boris Johnson, the new British Prime Minister was blockaded nothing before they ran away they took another route and ran away in nigeria you come out with soldiers you have not even defeated boko haram all the your so-called insurgency and your brothers killing everybody everywhere you have not been able to stop them that ordinary people protesting saying what is happening is not good you open fire on them and that makes you a general do you see why we Africans are fools? <laughs> we always celebrate <laughs> evil. And that is why evil is following us all over the place. And we keep wondering, oh, why, why are we not developed? I traveled to Asia. They have like a, Your stupidity is the reason why. But you will not see it. Because you're so helpless, you cannot see your own stupidity. We blacks are useless, I'm telling you. But today they have declared Shia movement a terrorist group because they don't like what they're doing. Release their leader according to who, to court pronouncement. You're saying no, I won't do it because you are Sunnah, you are Sunni Islam, and they are Shia. You don't like them. Unbelievable. 
This is according to European newspaper. Punch. How they reported it. The Federal High Court in Abuja on Friday ordered the prescription of Shia movement as protest by the Islamic organization Rocks Abuja. A newspaper without soul or conscience is a Yoruba paper. No soul, no. They can never tell you. They can never write in the tutorial and say to the government, what you're doing is wrong. Obey court order. No. Tribune wants to be president in 2023, so why bother? Their, their, their project now is, is our turn, no? Let's put Yoruba man there. Now we have reached an agreement. Oh, if Fulani rules small, Yoruba go rule small. That's what they're saying. And some idiots in the so called Niger Delta will be talking rubbish every day. After drinking, pull, pull, pull it water, they'll be talking nonsense. Let's continue. Saturday Punch reports that Justice. Ndonye Maha, whatever. Have you heard of the name Maha before? The name person, the person's name is Ndonye Maha. Whatever that means. Because they know if they go to their favorite, what's their favorite is uh, Kafarati. I will complain. They go to this one now. Ndonye Maha. I've never heard of such useless name before. Who answers Maha? From, 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 from Igbo land. Maha, Ndonye Maha. What is the meaning of Maha? These are the idiots that converted to Islam in order to be able to get, get one or two contracts. So, so they can come back to the village and answer to an affluent man. Unbelievable. This is a report by Yoruba Nisuba. Let me go to the part that is, is quite uh, interesting. Uh, they reported it. That's what they, One day I kill people, they don't report it. They say it's a clash, clash. Between uh, uh, army and uh, protesters clash. I see protesters have AK 47. Do protesters have AK 47? That says no. El Zagzagi and the wife have been in custody since seven months, since 2015. The Obama went on to write about the affidavit, what happened, and everything. I don't hate the Yorubaris. My good friends are from there. Very close friends, I, I hasten to add. But if I see evil, I say it. If I see injustice, I fight it. The European media, we are where we are today because of you. This same European media fought Abacha, you know. To stand still. And Abacha was more ruthless in a dictatorship. All of a sudden, because of the promise of uh, presidency, they have jettisoned every moral ground every value they had because it's their turn to loot in 2023 yoruba media <laughs> yoruba media yoruba yoruba media yoruba media hmm. okay do you know let, let me tell you this is the part i got me very upset <clears throat> it says this is according to the court what this maha woman wrote Le, see, I'm, I'm, I, I said earlier that we blacks are evil. Even from a sitting judge in a court of law, I want to prove to you this evening how evil we blacks are truly are. Listen to what she wrote. This is the judge that prescribed Shia. She said, the violent and aggressive activities of the members of the respondent, which is Shia group, under the guise of clamoring for the release of their leader, have not only heightened tension and insecurity in the country, but it is also earning the country negative rating globally. Oh, oh, sheer protest is earning you negative ratings. Not full any headsmen, not your so called bandits, not the corruption in the, in the country, not you rigging election. Hey, she never This is from a high court judge in Nigeria. She went on to write, both the U.S. and U.K. governments have already issued travel warnings on Nigeria on account of these violent protests. Is that true? Hey! They issued warnings because of Fulani, you people, what you're doing. Fulani has been. Fulani terrorists all the way from Asorok. Fulani terrorists is the reason why warnings were issued not here. And look at the way a Yoruba people reported it. 
as if it is true. This is the pronouncement of a judge in a court of law in the 21st century. Hey! I will continue. It recalled that before the July 27, 2019, the group's members in a violent protest on July 9, 2019, while trying to force their way into the National Assembly complex, <laughs> come to London and see what protest is. Some people are camped outside the Parliament in London, House of Commons and Lords, filthy looking. Go and touch them and you see what the law will do to you. Do you see? And then when they, I'm sure this Maha, whatever she's called, went to school in America, or uh, she will now tell you I am Harvard Law or Yale or Stanford Law. And I'll be to another. There is nothing Harvard or Stanford or Cambridge or Oxford about we blacks. Look at all the landmark rulings in, of this world. Ruling against the state. A judge will sit down and write his or her judgment. And condemn an entire country. And uphold the right of one single person. But here, it's because, uh, uh, Madam, as wants to call you, it's your turn now to issue that, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, expert uh, expert uh, motion. Or to hear it. That is why when I see, I saw somebody just said in London a few, a few years ago that uh, uh, when somebody says he's a professor and he's black, he will first of all slap him. <laughs> because it's, it's meaningless. A black professor is useless. They can't they have done anything. It's even like with a judge. This is what somebody wrote that went to school. Lies upon lies. You were stopped from going to America because of your fraudulent that you read the lecture. Simple and short. Your are blaming it on Shia. Travel warnings everywhere because of the kidnappings of Fulani headsmen. Fulani, Fulani. Not because of Shia. But you're about to write it as if it's, uh, it's true. <laughs> oh dear me. Tomorrow they say I hear how can I hate Europe? Well, my best friends are from there, but I have to tell them the truth. The same way I'm telling the truth about us black people. I want to let you know tonight that God in heaven looked at the hearts of men and realized that in Africa <laughs> Africa is wicked though very very wicked I'm telling you that's why I said you people will come last you will be slaves to other nations they will trample upon you because you are evil and you are wicked they said that in a judge wrote in July 27, 2007, the group murdered a Sunni cleric in Sokoto. Uh, they have come. This is a battle between Sunna and Shia. That they brought to the zoo with a uh, British High Commissioner cheering from the side. An American ambassador. They are getting their money every month. Every month they get their money. Say so it doesn't matter how many of you <laughs> end up being slaughtered. They will write and say it's a, it's a minor clash. You know, this uh, is access to water for the livestock. They need to drink water. The Nama need to drink water. You know, it's access to to water. That's, that's the problem. The whole ambassador trading in the blood of wretched, hopeless, ignorant wicked africans like us and tomorrow you you complain tomorrow you complain you know when they kill a black person in america you start complaining <laughs> but when they kill in your village you are clapping for 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 Bulatai and his troops they have not won any war outside they lost in bakasi they won't take them off they ran back they have never served with distinction in any theater in the whole world but they keep promoting them to, to general, general, general. Unbelievable. The stupid woman went on to write a whole lot of rubbish, which the punch newspaper gobbled up without asking a simple question. What is it exactly that Zagzagi did that you killed his nine children? Sorry, seven children. 
what is it that El Zaksaki did that you locked him up? So I mean, El, IPF shouldn't get involved though because you're a fool. If you say IPF, that means you're a fool and you're not IPOB. We can never support injustice. Impossible. Impossible. It can never happen. The Biafra we are building, there will be no injustice. None whatsoever. That you may know that Chukwu Kikadiam is with us. We don't believe in evil. So, Elzak Zaki should then die. And uh, the day they announce his death, like Leah Shwaibu, you write R.I.P. Oh, may, may she rest well with Jesus in heaven. Jesus is on the right hand side of God. Leah Shwaibu will be on the left. You see how stupid you are? You see how hopeless you are? Can you imagine if Leah Shwaibu had died under Jonathan? What will happen? Obvious question will be everywhere. Everybody will be complaining. Are you complaining now? Are you complaining now? They moved heaven and earth to do their deal with their Chiboko girls. But this girl is dead. Killed. Rest in peace. You brought out her picture and you wrote R.I.B. Facebook that a white man invented. All we do is we consume. And sometimes we consume even ignorance. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. We must continue to do our work. I would give you the message raw. The way it comes. Even those of them that say they are, they are prophets, have they been able to predict anything before? What we tell you here is to happen. You see, with your two eyes, you see it. The level of injustice is too much. I'll go on to also analyze what my deputy, our deputy leader said, and I agree with him totally. He said, the real terrorists are in Asorok. The real terrorists are Mieti Allah and their patron. And who is their patron? Buhari before he died and the Jubilee. In fact, everybody who is a patron of Mieti Yala should be arrested. And I, will, I have instructed our lawyers. We are going to write to USA State Department. We are going to list out all the patrons of Mieti Yala. And that includes Jonathan. And we will be arguing very forcefully why they should be denied visa to America. Jonathan included. He's a patron of Mieti Yala. Mieti Yala is a terrorist group. Anybody who is their patron should also be regarded as a terrorist. They should. The full only herdsmen that you have killing and rampaging through our towns and villages. And now it was your about abandoned and bandits. Oh don't stigmatize the full and race. Including Coca, that man is they says in Sokoto. Coca. Roman Catholic Archbishop inside the desert in Sokoto. And what I really think he's suffering from sunstroke in the brain. His brain is not quite correct. Don't stigmatize them. But you stigmatize the whole of Biafra by prescribing IPOB. You are not stigmatizing every Shia in Nigeria. You banned a religion. You see, it's simple. It's simple unheard of before. Some of you are clapping because you are black, you are evil, you are wicked, and you are ignorant. And on top of that, you are cowards. You can't confront evil, can you? But we do here every, every blessed day. The real terrorist Mark Ban Mieti Allah Cattle Breeders Association is the fourth most deadly terrorist group in the world. The fourth most deadly terror group in full learning. The fourth most deadly terror group in the world. No court has prescribed them. The more they kill, the more land they give them. The more they settle them with your money. How should I say, with the money come from Biafra land? The more Europeans are waiting for Tinubu to enter office in 2023. <laughs> hey, this is black, black people. <laughs> anyway, you're not black for nothing. You know one thing about, I told you, 
my son Nemeka wants to study what's it called again is it um, uh, astrophysics astrophysics well, because of that I got interested in, um, in, in the cosmos in heavenly and stellar bodies and uh, I started reading about black holes and all the rest of it and the funniest thing is that this black hole they are very massive they are very powerful they are very strong they inhabit the center of every galaxy in the universe and you know what they do they conceive they don't give anything back in return and they are black do you see how funny it is <laughs> oh dear the biggest object in the universe is black it consumes everything and it gives nothing back in return just think about it oh, google it and read up after this program that may help you understand the state of black people where we are evil honestly a very wicked race arguably the most wicked race on earth is black very wicked and you can say it is because of colonialism britain came and gave us the wickedness yes but we now modified it to suit our black nature when you see something white you say it's black when it's black it's white and you you studied at oxford or cambridge law or harvard or princeton <laughs> this UG black unbelievable check him and never The U.S. State Department must designate Nyet Yala as a terrorist group. And the sooner that happens, the better for everybody. I am beside myself with rage this evening. It is up to our people. We are not only escaping ignorance, poverty, disease and deprivation in the zoo, now you understand why I said to you that Biafra means something more to us. Biafra is here to bring light where once there was darkness. Or where there is darkness. Because we're still fighting. We are the light. Not just of Africa, but of the entire black race. During my tour of the U.S., I said that we will fight this very battle to its logical conclusion. And the reason why things are the way they are is because most of those that lead you in the zoo, most of your judges, most of your police commissioners, most of those they promote in the judiciary and also in the military, oh, their loyalty or their rise in power to full any patronage and that is why impunity upon impunity is multiplying on a daily basis and nobody's doing anything about it but we can do something about it we can bring this impunity to an end and we can do it collectively i welcome the bold initiative from the leaders of the middle belt to disassociate themselves from the Fulani core north we welcome that and i would like especially to commend the leader of the middle belt forum for standing up to those blood-sucking demons from the north and abdullahi and co if the middle belt is serious about wanting their freedom then we will work with them to ensure that everybody is free only if they are serious if they are serious we will work with them to freedom i've said it before our fight is not about oil or gas our fight is about freedom when biafra comes oil and gas will be handed over to United Nations Security Council plus Israel to oversee its distribution to every part that once constituted Nigeria to let them know that we want well, I don't need oil and gas to survive 
our brain is there the greatest natural resource you can think of as a human being is your brain not what is inside the ground so that they have that in mind during my tour of the usa i did speak about making our people in america contribute towards this very effort some journalists were calling called us yesterday and were crying one of them said a piece of land my brother is in the u.s a piece of land he bought has now been occupied by full and headsmen and everybody's looking up to ipob to do something about it and my response was very simple so is ipob looking up to those of them in america to support this very effort financially they must support what we are also doing and how are they going to do that our people in the americas if you have a brother sister uncle aunt you couldn't no matter who they are tell them that they are going to contribute one dollar each and this dollar they are going to contribute it took it took us time to come up with this very idea to fundraise for our people the one dollar i asked everybody to contribute in america every month is not actually going to come from your pocket it is going to come from uncle sam which is the inland revenue service of america because it is tax deductible what it means is that if you contribute one dollar in them uh, if you're in america and you're working and you contribute a dollar every month which is twelve dollars a year it will go a long way and it's also tax deductible which means you will get it back from the tax man when you're filing your tax returns you will be able to get that dollar back so anybody who refuses to contribute towards this very effort you know that the person wants those at home to die that's all it, 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 it now it, it would defy not just logic and common sense but it would take the wickedness of a black person to a new level the money we are asking you to contribute one dollar a month is not your money but we are asking you to use your name to donate it to biafra aid foundation in america understand me very well the biafra aid foundation has been set up as what the americans called a 501c3 account at chase at the chase bank in america 501c3 means that every dime and nickel you donate is subject to tax write-off at the end of the year in other words at the end of the year american government will say oh my dear brother or sister I can see you contributed within this past year twelve dollars only or twelve dollars every month to Biafra Aid Foundation. We are going to write it off. We will give you back the same twelve dollars you contributed, and then we will now assess your income tax or whatever tax that you pay in America. So what we're asking you to do is to instead of campaigning for reparation for slavery, you can get one one dollar each and every Biafran or somebody from Middle Belt or Yoruba for that matter that wants to be free because it's only IPOB that can do it. Only IPOB can set you free. Nobody else can. I say it with every ounce of conviction. Only IPOB. You can contribute only one dollar a month and it is subject to tax write-off which means when you're paying your tax they will disregard it. They will say, you contributed this, we are giving it back to you. Now we assess your account. You're not losing anything. So if your uncle fell, of course, some will come up with excuses. They tell us why they will not be part of it. <laughs> As they normally do, they will find an excuse. Hey, it's not done like that. No, you know me, I do my research very well. You are going to contribute only $12 every year, and that $12 is subject to tax write-off. It is tax deductible. When it comes to this now, they claim they, they don't understand the grammar anymore. But ordinarily, though, you see them blowing big grammar. It is tax deductible. In other words, we are taking this money from Mr. Trump and IRS in America, not from you. 
but we're only using your name to collect it. What you're doing in essence is taking one dollar every month from America to give to Biafra. It's legal. Now you have no reason or need not to be part of it. There is an email address you can also use. I want it to be written down everywhere this evening and circulated appropriately. I want it written down and circulated. It is br67foundation at gmail.com As I'm making this announcement, I want our dear sister and then I have to begin to circulate this information immediately. Those of them who are in the, in the USA manning this very account to start doing so immediately. br 67 Foundation is BIA67 then Foundation, which is F-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N at gmail.com they won't allow us to use anything else. So using Gmail for this. BR67 Foundation at gmail.com. It is. Called Izeal. Or the web ZEOL. You can also send intank transfer using the routing account. You can call root. The routing and account number is. The routing number or routing number I say in America is 515-216-791. I repeat, 515-216-791. That is the routing number. Maybe it's some sort of short code for them. And then the account number itself is 720 Three two six. I repeat, account number of this Chase Bank for Bia Foundation is zero seven two zero 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 three zeros three two six, and the routing number or routing number is five one five two one six seven nine one. I want these details provided to our mothers in America. I, IPOB Women in America is exceptionally strong, very formidable indeed. I want these, these details to be made available to every community, every association, every group, every individual in America so that we know those to depart from Biafra Airport as soon as Biafra comes. You know, before I said we deport people, if they don't contribute towards this very struggle, now we may even have to detain some people before we deport them back to the USA. These are the details for you to use to support this very effort because nobody is going to do it for us. You can set up a direct debit which they call a re reoccurring contribution so that every month you only one dollar. I'm not, we're not asking, please don't contribute five dollar. No, don't. One only is enough. So that we can get this very job done and sweep away the ginger weed from the north. Again, it is what they call 501c3 account. Which means that every money you contribute, the taxman, Uncle Sam, as they say in America, will write it off. On a day when the injustice being meted out to El Zagzagi and the Shia is dominating our minds and our thoughts. I shouldn't be talking about fundraising, but we need to raise funds to continue to do the work that we are doing. And this yielding fruit, I assure you, quite a lot. And there are a few issues I also like to clear up live on air especially the responsibility of our people in Houston, Texas. People should please listen very carefully. This is for IPOB principal officers or servants as they call them in the USA. When I attended the town hall meeting in Houston, I made it very, very clear that those zones I created those zones that I created, their coordinators are supreme. There is no 
Greater Houston gathering of IPOB none I did not set upon and there will not be any no greater Houston what we have is Sugarland Missouri and all those places and one coordinator for each of those places and they are called zones the coordinators reign supreme there all of you now answer to the state coordinator direct to the Texas state IPOB coordinator. No greater Houston. No other collection of people. Our coordinators must do their jobs. And also our mobilization team must also do their work. And must be given access to every state to make sure that more families are being created on a daily basis. In IPOB we live or die based on our disciplined structure. Without structure, we are nothing. We don't want to be like the zoo, where if you don't like one aspect of the law, you start rebelling and deciding which judge to accept his or her ruling or not. In IPB, we are disciplined, and that is how Biafra is going to be. Everything ends insofar as the USA is concerned at the office of the USA National Coordinator. He remains the number one citizen insofar as IPB is concerned. Because if anything goes wrong, we hold him responsible. The same way that we will hold responsible any state coordinator that we find wanting or lacking in the discharge of their duties and responsibilities. I thank you all very much for listening. And my tour of Australia, New Zealand and Japan is coming up. And I hope there are people in the Far East and Australia that they're geared up for this because there's a lot of work to be done. I thank you all very much for listening. And I want you to put El Zagzagi and Dasuki in your prayers. Put them in your prayers. And we must continue to fight until everybody wrongfully incarcerated is set free. This is Radio Biafra, and from me, from here, this evening, it is good evening.